We're going to look at the, uh, the term common multiples now and LCM. So let's find the common multiples of 3 and 4. If you're asked to find the common multiples of two numbers, start by writing down their multiples. So let's start write down the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 4. The multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, and so on. And they would carry on forever. We'll just stop there. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and we'll just stop there. So, a common multiple is a number, so the common multiples of 3 and 4, a common multiple is a number that's in both of these lists. So the common multiples of 3 and 4, they would be in both of these lists. So if you notice, um, 12, 24, 32, 24, and 36, if we'd carried this on to the next one. They're all common multiples. So in other words, they're multiples of both three and four. So they're both three times tuples and the four times tuples. Okay, the term LCM, LCM stands for least common multiple or lowest common multiple. If you're in my class, you'll probably hear me say lowest common multiple most of the time. Um, so you'll see one of these terms. So LTM stands for the lowest or least common multiple. So in other words, it's the first common multiple of both numbers. So if I wanted the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4, it's the first number that is a common multiple. So that would be 12. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12.